let's go to Sheila on Facebook. So, um, <coughs> are there any ports in the UK which could be used together with Dover for trade to prevent the backlog mm. you, were, you were talking about earlier? Is there an infrastructure there to deal with a change of situation across the country? What, are there any kind of ways that that could be changed so that there isn't that backlog of lorries, yeah. as you said earlier? Given enough time, in some senses, anything is 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 possible. I think if you know, if you turned around to the owners of the UK ports and said, you know, "In ten years, we want you to be able to handle customs checks on all our trade with the EU," they would say, "You know, fine. We're going to expand Dover. We'll expand Felixstowe. We'll expand Harwich, and we'll be able to to do it." Mm. The problem is that our existing infrastructure is built on the basis that we don't need to do customs checks on trade with the EU and to impose those kind of custom checks you need to make everything bigger right and that's you know that's not just true at Dover it's going to be true at all the other ports as well so we're just not ready for that at the at the moment and that kind of would be the the sort of big shock you would immediately see from a a no deal exit is that suddenly there's all these checks that have to be carried out that we're not ready for Mm -hmm. now you know, kind of one possible response to that be, well, you know, if we're not ready to do them, let's just not do the checks initially until we've built the um, infrastructure. You know, that could be an option. It would mean we don't know what's coming into the UK. So there would be kind of concerns there, particularly around sort of um, kind of food safety, you know, what what type of you know meat is coming into the country. Mm. But the other issue there is, you know, it wouldn't just be the UK checks on goods into the UK, it would be checks on goods going out of the UK into the EU, right? So if I'm a UK exporter and I want to send goods to France, they'd be checked at Calais, right? And the EU is not going to waive uh, checks uh, under any circumstances. Mm. So even if we don't carry out the checks, the EU will. And that mm. creates the same kind of backlog, but just going in the other direction. That's really interesting. So it's something where... the that separation is then what we would do in our ports could be actually quite different to what we might see in the EU. Yeah, kind of, you know, at the moment we all abide by the same rules, but once we, once we leave, it could be there's one set of rules for goods coming into the UK and another set of rules for goods coming out, but neither side is ready to do that at the moment. Okay. 